Hey, so Ramirez, just coming off uh, a big weekend with the first World Cup of the season in Bern. Uh, Yeser, walk us through the tournament and what you experienced. Well, uh, it was a tough tournament. Uh, I was really working hard for to go to the first day. I've uh, been working with the guys, Ben Brown, Dwight, my teammates, uh, for like, you know, how to go have the pool, wins every bout. And after that, uh, it's no fight, you know, we were excited, we have no fear, but, you know, we were working as a team, I was happy that Cornell uh, was there coaching all the internals, and I like it. Uh, it's not going to be easy, it's going to be a dog fight, but, you know, we're always excited and always hoping that things will work out well in the future. You talk about that dog fight, uh, on, the, on the team side, a uh, disappointing weekend for the men's FA squad. How does this weekend's result impact kind of the, the upcoming competitions? Well, uh, I was talking to Ben and uh, I told him, listen, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard, so we have to be prepared, you know, for the worst. Uh, this weekend is going to go the way we want to go, but, you know, it still happens. That I think that's a part of uh, experience, so make it like, you know, uh, stepping stone to do better than some in Italian in Italy, Estonia. And it's not going to be easy. A lot of teams are working hard for the qualification. We are pretty much there. Uh, we need to just, we're not going to go. We fence, we fence very well. Uh, we love the matches like pretty close, 45, 44, uh, 45, 20 something. And we just need a little bit more extra, extra push to be able to break through and start, you know, uh, getting the results that we wanted to get. And you mentioned Ben and the conversation you had with him, him, you know, reinforcing the fact that it's important to keep your head up. With with the burn result and I think both Canada and Venezuela uh, finishing ahead of U.S., what does that mean for zonal qualification? Uh, honestly, I would say that we kind of lost a little bit of disadvantage because they did better than us. But I would say, I would say you know, to my teammates, not over until so we fight every single time until you know, we pretty much do what I want. I told her like, look, we might not do well this one, we might, might we might not do well the next one, but eventually you're gonna break through. And our goal is to at least make that four twice. So maybe we believe that we can win a tournament. You know, everybody's had the same level. One thing that I noticed uh, uh, this past weekend that everybody had the will to win. So only people, the only people that want to win the tournament is those who have the toughest, you know, mindset, who are like persevering, like working hard, hard, they never give that up. That hunger and just yeah. that fight. Uh, Canada, they never made, i never seen Canada made uh, top four, and they did it. So um, I'm like, okay, if they did it, we could do it too. And better than them, because we better than Canada and Venezuela. We just have the tough opponents, and we just right there, man, knocking the door. Eventually, we're going to break through because things can only get better. And, to, and about that, that dog fight mentality, you now, uh, rolling points, we just updated. You're the number two guy here in the states. Uh, what does that mean to you, if anything? Uh, right now, my focus is not being the number two or number one. My focus is the one for Olympic. Um, well, I'm happy that I get points and be the number one, number two in the country. But that's like a my. That's not even a goal for me. I'm looking, you know, toward the future. I there is a big league over there, and I want to be able to fire that league. Uh, if I am one or two, it doesn't matter because it's just the beginning. No matter how you start, no matter how you finish. Yeah, All right. Well, we we saw the start here of the the first event of the of the season. Of course, the the others last spring, uh, and we look forward to seeing the finish. As you mentioned, man, it's not over until it's over. All right. Thanks, yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much.